The 20,000-seater Port Gentile Stadium will be home to Group B teams featuring Ghana, Egypt, Mali and Uganda. President Ali Bongo pledging that this year's edition will be better than 2012, which they co-hosted with Equatorial Guinea. We want to give the best conditions to the Gabonese and African players so they can give us a quality show, but also so that spectators can watch the games in very good conditions. Days to the competition, however, some stadia are still undergoing finishing touches. The aftershocks of Gabon's presidential elections also continue to linger, with fans divided on whether this is the best time for the country to be spending heavily on sport. With all the financial problems that we have and seeing that the last elections took place in chaos, Gabon does not need this tournament. It did not bring us anything in 2012, so I can't understand why they are organizing a new one. Meanwhile, they could put this money to good use and improve public housing in order to help a lot of people. But the decision is already taken and we cannot go back. This means a lot to us because we will get a chance to be known internationally. We'll also be able to show the world other parts of the country because the matches will not only take place in the capital city. This event will make us proud. The government has given assurances that the competition will run smoothly without incidents. The majority of Gabonese people wanted this competition to be held here and we are only carrying out their wishes. Unfortunately, a minority of people forgot it is a sports competition which showcases our country in a good light. We're doing our best to ensure this Cup of Nations boosts us economically. Come Saturday, all the build-up concerns will be forgotten and the spotlight will shine on Gabon's pitches. Fans around the continent will be hoping take two. Fans around the continent will hope the 16 teams give them a show to remember. Celestine Carone, CGTN.